All right. Oh, I got this thing running again. Welcome to me playing Mass Effect. Great. I know, right? So wonderful. Decided after the whole election things last night and staying up till like 5 a.m., I decided eh, let's just play this game and stay up late playing it instead. Now. I'll watch in a few moments. Okay. No worries. Everything's gonna be fine. Now I'm starting. Shepard. She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only true Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. The decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the farthest stars. The basis to this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time itself, mostly known as the Mass Effect Drives. I'd like to welcome you guys all to a series that I plan on uploading to my YouTube uh, many times. Hopefully. <laughs> right? So, those of you who are going to watch this series, I'll make sure that they are no, long, no more than half an hour long. If that. I doubt I'll make this half hour long each. So that means uh, after every mm, take 30 minutes, I'll stop recording, or at least stop streaming, take a break, and then, well, this. Hopefully uh, my own commentary can be just as cheeky as Joker. those of you who watch with ADD or ADHD, your mouths would be open at that point. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500 cap. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. I just gave you a cop. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jaws on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. No one idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting us. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we need to find. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Only you, Joker. Only you. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. Or at least he's right there, Presley. You will give yourself an ulcer. supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a turned Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship Honey, your stuff's getting a rather loud. I can hear it. doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't they come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't know. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. For some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members. <laughs> now it says Twitch is ready to start. Wow, this Xbox, you're so. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with the Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, man. I'm not going to screw this up. You're from Medium Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even characters get boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Goodbye. Yeah. Pity soldier. Shepard, I was hoping you'd get 
in here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know, you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we're making the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. I guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept the human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs you, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. 